this too. Um, our, our next guest, um, before we do though, I want to just give this little shout out to Jackie in honor of her overcoming her marijuana addiction. She's fiending, look at her, she's fiending right now. Remember that sound, Jackie? <laughs> you, you must remember that sound. I know you do. All right, we're gonna shift gears a little bit here and introduce our next guest who, I got a little backlash from it and I'm gonna ask him why people all you know shouted me out when we publicized that Lorenzo Fuller Jr. is with us, and um, he's from Kansas. He now lives in the New York area. Uh, he went to the Juilliard School of Music. He's held role, roles on Broadway, from shows Kiss Me Kate to Finian's Finney, Finney, Rainbow. Hey, how are you, Lorenzo? There he is. I'm great. You hear the crowd? They're rooting for you. Loving you, baby. So, Lorenzo, when I when I told people that you were going to be with us today. One of the things I told them was that you were you played buck, buckweed on the Little Rascals, and I got a whole bunch of emails back and a lot of calls from people saying buckweed passed away. That can't be him. Buckweed passed away. What's going on? Is it an imposter? And then I did some research and I found out there there are a lot of people out there that pretended to be buckweed as they got older so they could you know get some kind of notoriety. Now tell me this is not your game. You're not, you're not a phony. You played Buckbeat, Buckwheat? You played Steiny too? Wow, did you get double the pay? Because you had two rolls? <laughs> excellent, excellent. See, what would what would put a bee in my bonnet is if someone says, well, the Pink Panther, the second one is Steve Martin. It's just the Pink Panther. What's the big deal? Right. You know what I right. mean? He's... Did, it, it, were these the same episodes, or was this was this television or film, or what was it? Okay. So you, I'm going to go here, Lorenzo, because I know you are an educated man. Uh, you were the first African American to host a national television show. Is that correct? Correct. And um, you, that's a lot of people equate uh, talk shows to reality shows. Well, I'm wondering, have you ever watched any reality shows? Reality television. Uh, it's okay if you haven't. I'm just wondering if you have. Yep. Where? Where did Buckwheat become a teacher? Okay. And what was Buckwheat teaching? Oh, great. Oh, great. And this is a book you're authoring. For those listening, if you just picked up with us, you're listening to Lorenzo Fuller Jr. who played Buckwheat, the second Buckwheat on Little Rascals, born in 1919 in Stockton, Kansas. That would make you how old? How old are you, Lorenzo? Do you mind sharing that? 91. Wow, you are actually the youngest person who's ever been a guest on our show. I want you to I want you to know that. Lorenzo, what's that? What was it like on the on the set of the Little Rascals? Was there was there fights? Was there all kinds of fights? It sounds like that was one of the original. Yeah, you know, it sounds like the original reality TV to me. Did they have? Were there very specific scripts that you guys had to follow, or no? Just kind dog because it was a pit bull wasn't it the dog Petey it was a pit bull right playing with children back then and no one was afraid. yeah no one was afraid Lorenzo Fuller Jr. A graduate of the Juilliard School of Music piano player excellent we thank you so much for being with us we'll look forward to your book and we'll be in touch with you again we'll have you on again we'd love to talk to you some more about your days with the little rascals 
and we really appreciate you being with us here. Thank you. <laughs> right on, okay. Right on, thank you. People stay with us. We're gonna go to a short break, but we come back, we're gonna have the muscle man, the strong man, Scott Herman from Real World Brooklyn. Uh, he, you know, they call him a muscle head, but he's actually a very intelligent guy, and he's got a, a built, you know, you might be interested in this, he's got a fitness program. Scott oh, Herman, really? ScottHermanFitness.com. You think he could transform this body? I don't, the only thing that could transform that body is a Stanley tool, you know, those things that plain wood, oh, that, that might be it. We're going to come back. We still have Jackie in the studio. Protégé is gone from G's to Jackie is crying. But Jackie's here, and uh, she'll stick around for a few more minutes. Stay with us. Reality Crew has a tip for you. And then we'll be back on Robert Galinsky's Reality on Chataboutup.com, energized by CBS, featuring the Kodak VI8. I want, I want you to ask me about the interview with Lorenzo. He was answering like he was on a game show. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Um, yeah. Uh, some Valerie called and said you were going to call. You told her to call in. Is she on? So, yeah. Okay, good. So just tell her in the break. We'll come to her right out. Lorenzo? And you're going to have Scott on? You're going to get Scott yeah, on Scott is on this? This is not Robert. This is the producer. Uh, we really appreciate you coming on the show.